What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We have finally got Philip Lamb, a brand new legend. Why are these videos so compressed, man? These videos from the actual in-game showcasing the players. It's so weird. We also have young Mataus rocking a beastly hairstyle. And this guy is definitely going to be one that a lot of people will want to spin for. I mean, for me personally, with the squad I have... I'm still a little bit out on whether or not I will spin in this pack. We will be live streaming later on as well. Uh, 99 overall, he's going to go even higher with the boosts and the manager boosts and the in-game manager boosts with his stats, getting that boost with Pepper Javi Alonso, the max plus three. Philip Lamb with his booster, we're going to get into that in a second as well. I feel like a lot of people have been waiting for somebody new to kind of come into the game or somebody just a little bit different. I think that it's probably overshadowed by the fact that Trent and wan have come out in the last couple of weeks. Van Boyten back at centre-back as well. So yeah, you've got your three pack there from the Bayern Munich selection. These are part of the Guardians pack that you see here. And also they're going to include some other players which we covered yesterday on a video. But that is the pack. It's an FC Bayern Munich and they are coupled with a European Guardian. So yeah, I definitely think that it's a good pack. If you are looking to spin, you haven't spun in a while... Or you're looking for kind of in-game players. You know, Philip Lamb is definitely pretty much in-game at house. There isn't many better players than him that are box-to-box -box and that you can train in multiple different ways. And Van Buyten is a fairly good centre-back that's that's quite slow, but you can also double that up if you get a bit lucky and do get Sakaria from this box. I'm actually going to hide my face cam here. If you get Sakaria from this box, it's quite decent. And also, there are one or two players like Hato in here as well, or Hato. This guy is a very, very good player. So, we're going to crack on. We're going to go straight into it. I will show you the builds of every player towards the end of the video on screen. Green, but we are going to start with the demon that is Philip Lamb. So this guy is down as an attack and full back. He is here with his jersey from the 12-13 season. And as you can see here are his card from the 12-13 season. He's got the plus two to agility, which is an interesting enough ability or booster for Philip Lamb. Um, now, before we take a look at that, let's have a look at his player skills. So he does have one touch pass. He's true pass and he's low lofted. He's interception and sliding tackle as well as fighting spirit. I mean, you throw blocker on him, and you can pretty much play him left back, right back, or DMF. It is a very, very nice card, even without the booster. Level 1, with no boosters. He's got tight possession, curl, defensive awareness, acceleration, balance, and stamina. Six stats that are over 80 with level 1, with no boosters. You know, that pushes up a little bit then as well. You've got 86 acceleration off the rip without even training him. So it is a phenomenal card. Definitely is one of the best cards that they have released. I feel like with him, you probably need to put blocker on him. But the thing I like about Philip Lamb, kind of different to Trent, is that he has got really nice, um, you know, defensive awareness off the rip. I know Trent is definitely going to be uh, good enough as well. But Philip Lamb's attacking awareness being so low means that he will be naturally more defensive, even though he's down as an attacking fullback. So I like cards like that. But is it enough for you to spin from? I mean, I'm not 100% sure. We do have his build here. So we've gone for 5 into passing, 6 into dribbling and dexterity, and then 10 into lower body strength with 13 into defending, as you see here. That is going to give you a monster. As I said, lads, if you are training up cards, train up the card without the boosters taken into consideration because they are just basically empty calorie type stat boosts, in my opinion. You know, they're not really uh, the same as having a base level 90 acceleration guy versus a base level 86, and then you get your manager boost and you get your booster boost. That's just what I found from weeks and weeks of research. I'm still working on the video, but we'll get into that later on. We'll talk about it in the live stream as well. But again, there with Philip Lamb, phenomenal stats just there without the booster. 90 acceleration, 92 stamina, 90 tackling, 92 defensive engagement, and 94 defensive awareness with 88 type possession for a right back. If you are playing him DMF, I think this build also works, but I would probably put his defense down just a smidge if I was playing him uh, DMF. That's kind of where I would go with it. I would max it out at maybe 11 there and probably pop two more in to cover a bit more grass um, there into his speed. So that's just one alteration uh, instead of having that 12 or 13 into defending. That's probably where I would go with it if I was going to DMF. So it, it is an interesting card. It definitely is an interesting card. I feel like that Philip Lamb, a lot of people will like him. I feel like with the rest of the pack here with Ederson and them, these are kind of not bad cards, but it is all about Philip Lamb and Matthaus. Van Boyten, right? We'll leave Matthaus for a second, but Van Boyten is definitely a good card as well. He's just going to be super slow, lads. 
Um, he's got his booster here, which is going to be defending plus two. He's down as a destroyer. He is very aggressive um, when you have him trained up, but he's not aggressive enough as a destroyer. It's more about his tackling and defensive awareness, which again is unusual. You know, they, they, I often see that these cards are like a window into where the gameplay is going, the new cards, because they are the most, you know, cards that they're looking at most uh, with their most attention on. Blocker, interception, all that's there. Or sorry, interception is not there, but blocker, area superiority and acrobatic clearance. Interception not being there is a bit of an issue. Sliding tackle not being there is a bit of an issue. Um, he does have acrobatic finishing clearance and aerial superiority with heading. He's a big giant of a man. Probably could handle collar, but we'll see. Not many can, but it's definitely a very, very, very good throwback center back. You know, no nonsense defense. Kind of reminds me of Pepe or somebody like that. That's just going to be not that quick. Uh, but just have his defensive stats absolutely insane. And again, when you take a look at his stats here, when he's trained up, you're going to have the header, you're going to have the physical contact, and all his defensive stats really high. You know what you're getting with Van Boyten, lads. He's just going to be a slow uh, CB that's a destroyer, which might suit his playstyle a little bit more than those home and missiles that you see at the moment that are just super aggressive, because I do think they will change the gameplay, and I do think that they, ch that they will change it soon for the better for the defense. Mataus is probably the big guy um you know he's down here as a box to box he's down with unwavering form he's got his max booster here which is dueling and of course that's going to uh increase his defensive awareness tackling stamina and speed which is the most ideal booster for him it's a perfect card he doesn't have blocker but he does have interception again van Byten not having interception is a little bit of a concern uh but he does have man marking slide and tackle fight and spirit he doesn't have track back either which isn't a huge deal but he can pretty much play all the middle i mean center back to attack in midfield it's a phenomenal card in terms of his just in just a, as a utility man it's it's a fantastic card true passing of course you've got weighted pass one touch pass i'm still working on the tutorial for true passing it's a very important stat as long our skill as long as you have the stats to back it up we'll go into that but it is a fantastic card i'm a massive fan of this guy not this card specifically but him being in e-football before or pez before i've been a massive fan of him and i do think that he is definitely going to be a card that a lot of people will like if you haven't found your best box to box player at the moment this is a phenomenal defensive build where you've got six five eight ten two ten um if you want to go a little bit less defensive and you want him to be a little bit more of a ball carrier ball runner kind of an attack and threat once you have that at 85 i think the aggression i think that's all you really need with this card um i would probably get the aggression up a little bit but if you are looking to play him as an attack and midfielder type role he definitely has those stats that you can kind of boost up i mean if you put put dribble into eight you're going to have tight possession you're going to have ball control that's going to be pretty much where you want it to be and then of course the passing or the shooting you can go with that as well you can actually pop four into finishing to get the finishing and curl up if you're going to be taking a, ch a chance or two um but for me i would probably cap that um, uh, wherever you want to you know if you don't shoot there's no point so it's definitely a very good solid defensive card he will be good um in terms of the rest of the cards as we're just going to round this off here with ederson we'll show you his build so it's a three eleven six and eight for goalkeeper three if you haven't seen that at the bottom of the screen there and then also we do have nuna mendez seven seven eight eight six eight if in doubt leave a stat at eight leave a level at eight lads if in doubt if you're not gaining a lot don't go into the three tier kind of points uh, system, in my opinion, you know, use it somewhere else, phenomenal card, speed, acceleration, stamina, of course, you've got Hartman there as well, 9888816, and of course, you have Antonio Silva, you can see the builds there, as you can pause this at any time, this guy is very interesting, look at his stats, 85 plus speed with the boost, stamina is going to be really high, acceleration 80 plus, and all his defensive stats ridiculously high, he kind of reminds me of Timber, that's who he looks like, uh, the next kind of like version of Timber, who was a beast, at the start of the game and of course we have Bade as well this guy is down similarly he's not as fast but he has got the defense there's his builder 15 into defending of course we have Zakaria so this guy is definitely an interesting choice as well huge aggression huge speed brilliant acceleration and physical contact for a DMF you can go two ways with this guy I feel like his defensive uh, prowess is going to be huge when he actually gets the ball or when he's winning the ball back for you if you do not have Rijkaard or Vieira this guy is the next best thing currently at the moment as a guardian or as a dmf that can just win you the ball back very very nice card we will focus on him a little bit more in the live stream and then rounding it off we have ac milan's right back who again is going to be overshadowed by philip lamb of course but a very decent card as well so that is it for me lads i will be back quite soon let me know if you're going to be spinning or not for the three boys 
um and let me know in this in the chat below i hope to see you guys in the live stream later don't forget to subscribe we'll talk to you in a bit